I think it, it's, it's a bit more like touch rugby, so it's very good for your fitness. I feel uh, on the beach rugby it works your, your, your ankles and your calves and your legs a lot more because obviously the floor's not there and it's not stable so it gives way and it's hard work. The sand's a bit of a leveller, I think. I can't run quick on, on the sand, you know, and it's quite hard to find your feet and get some momentum going in the sand, so it's quite, it's quite a hard task. Great shape on the restart. Oh, straight away. Yeah. No, I mean, obviously, the, the beach rugby element, the tag rugby element is, is, is it's very similar to the, to the normal game. Just, you don't have the contact element. You obviously don't have the, the, the kicking or the stoppage of play. You just, you basically wear a, a belt with two tags on it. A side has the ball. You keep playing. Every time you get tagged, you, you have three steps to pass the ball. Once you've um, passed the ball, you put your tag back on, carry on, and it just keeps going. If you drop the ball, make a mistake, knock it on, and the other team gets the ball. I think it's because it's no contact and it means anyone can take part and you don't really have to be you know 100% you can just do it on the beach like you say for a bit of fun most people go down the beach just for you know a bit of a relax really so you can get involved in it that way. The thing about tag rugby is that it's so accessible to anyone you go and play in the park you go with your friends a lot of people go and want to kick a football around but actually this tag rugby or touch rugby whatever you want to you want to do is, is fine like you know four or five of you can go down to the park have a, have a really fun game and you don't have to you know, knock each other over and tackle each other, which for a winger like here was Dave is a perfect game. It takes the fun out of it for you, really, doesn't yeah. it? Will? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I, I'm slowly losing my looks that I had any. I don't know. Oh, we're kind of bomb, <laughs> blonde bombshells of rugby. But you're not, you know, obviously didn't pick up on that vibe earlier. <laughs> I got sent to a school that only played rugby. I was into rugby because my mum sort of sent me to um, the, right, the right schools. I started when I was five years old um, at uh, Maidenhead Rugby Club. Uh, I think my mum cottoned on pretty quickly that I was um, I was a terrible uh, a terrible nuisance around the house. So tried to get me out, you know tried to get me out as quickly as she could. Fortunately for me, I, I, I was forced into it. I think the accessibility really. I mean, I lived near uh, my local club. Uh, my parents could take me down for training and stuff like that. And I think this pathfinder, you know, and the play on is really good because when you get to the age of 60 and you kind of can drop out of sport, you go off to, you know, you might drop out of school, you might then, you know, go to university or just start working. You kind of move away from these areas of life where you can socialise with sport and stuff. So it's really important in a way to give 16 to 24 year olds the opportunity to really, you know, keep in, keep in touch with rugby and keep in touch with sport. The Play On campaign is just li is sponsored by O2 and just literally to get guys who sort of fallen away from playing rugby after school and, and need, need to do a little bit of sport or fitness and stuff like that so they've put on this programme and I've been on a couple of them so far and they've gone really well as you can see there's loads of people out here and everyone's really, everyone's really enjoying it and luckily it's, it's not raining. The best thing to do, is, if people are interested in taking part, is to find one is find your local O2 Pathfinder because today's today's not about um, just coming down and having a fun day in the park. It, it, it obviously is, but it's about leaving a footprint so people can carry on doing this kind of thing. So if you find your O2 Pathfinder, contact them, find out a bit more about it. They'll explain the rules. They'll, they'll explain how you can do it, or just go and play touch rugby. You don't even need a tag rope. You know, just as soon as you get touched, you just stop, carry on passing. And you know that's what we were brought up on.